The Tesla Cybertruck, for a myriad of reasons, has been garnering more interest in the automotive industry than any other previously released vehicle. Monroe and 3IS collaborated to develop the industry's most comprehensive reports on the Cybertruck's electronics through teardown and functional testing of the control systems. These reports will be released in the coming weeks and will analyze topics such as the 48 volt system and how it's integrated, what specific devices are included, how is the power conversions achieved between the lower and higher voltage systems in the vehicle, and how effective is their 48 volt system in reducing the copper and the weight. So Ethernet loop has also been a, a big deal. Everybody's been looking at that. Just how innovative is the Cybertruck's application of the Ethernet or Ethernet loop? How pervasive is this protocol in a vehicle? What and how many nodes are on that network? What advantages of the Ethernet are being leveraged in the Cybertruck? What's the Ethernet loop actually controlling and how's it being used? Leveraging Monroe and 3AS's benchmarking competencies along with other industry partners that we have, we'll be producing the most detailed and comprehensive analysis of Tesla's latest innovations. To learn more, contact your local Monroe or 3IES representative, or go to our websites at leandesign.com or 3isinc.com. Thank you for watching.